magical human being, Miss Jessica St. Hill. Well, I'm now. <laughs> I can't pretend that I'm not existing in time and space. I'm on drink number two. I usually don't do that before I go on stage because shit tends to wander, so good luck. Good luck. Also, I ate an entire fucking cow on a bun, a.k.a. a bird's burger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anybody have a burger tonight? Yeah. Enjoy the toilet, guys. I mean, it's, it's amazing, and I'm sure it's fine, um, but it, it's got to come out, eventually. <laughs> and it's St. Patrick's Day, who's drinking? <laughs> Alright, those of you that didn't say yes, start. <laughs> I, um, I am wearing a crown, because I'm a pagan and fuck St. Patrick. Because it wasn't snakes he drove out of Ireland, it was the pagans. Where are my pagans at? Woo! Oh, in Tallahassee even. <laughs> God damn it. My fiance calls me a leprechaun all the time because I'm only five feet tall on a good day. I don't have a joke for that. I'm just letting you know while I'll be on the news later on. You're the small. You're the small. You're the small. <laughs> this will happen all night. <laughs> so I mentioned my fiance. My fiance is a young man. I am not a young man, I'm an old woman. I got no patience for anything anymore, um, which is why it's astonishing that I'm with a man that's 13 years younger than I am. Yeah. Let's give it up for the cougars. Um, that can backfire like fuck on you though, because uh, if you start watching, like binge watching a show, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is a show that took place in the 1900s, <laughs> You have this dumbass son of a bitch over here going, okay, so there's a character in Buffy that's breaking into the city records on a computer. <laughs> and he turns to me without irony, he's not kidding. And he says, they computerized city records in 1997. Bitch, they computerized records. We had fire and bread and wheel and color in the world. Fucker. Jerk. I am the creepy old lady of my any of my my friend group. Any friend group that I'm part of. I hang out with the theater kids. I hang out with these fuckers. Um I am I love my fellow comedians, I do, but I am older than almost every single one of them. I think every single one of them actually. Um and I need to remember that because sometimes things take a turn because I'm just busting balls like I would in my own peer group or um, like I would have when I was their age too. But I say things that are inadvertently creepy because I'm 43 and they're like 20 and uh, I'm old enough to be their mother. And so it's like, I think I'm just acting like a normal human being and then they're looking at me with these like soulful like Dalmatian puppy faces, like I'm Corella DeVille, like she's gonna make coats out of us. <laughs> <laughs> when I refer to your junk as smooth and beautiful, I'm just making a joke, settle down. <laughs> you don't have to hide, I'm not the, oh, I was about to make a terrible joke, but I'm not going to make any jokes about the Catholic Church. Um, <laughs> on St. Patrick's Day. It's also St. Gertrude's Day. Whoa. Patron saint of, um, well, a, a lot of things I am. An immigrant, a gardener, mentally ill, <laughs> and a cat lover. Because I'm exactly like the type of person that is a cat lover. Settle down, sonny. <laughs> I am old and I've lost all patience. Don't, don't. <laughs> My, uh, my fiance is actually responsible for most of our cats, so the stereotypes aren't always true. Yeah. Who likes weed? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Later on, I'm going home for the smoke of the green. Uh, yeah, um, I like weed for different reasons than most of you. 
I like re weed for the same reason that there's a bottle of ibuprofen in every room of my house, in the car, and my purse, and under the bed, and everywhere. It actually makes me feel better. I was, um, I was taking CBD oil for a while. CBD oil is the LaCroix of weed. <laughs> Someone wafted some weed. Said a little chant. This won't get you high, but your shoulder will stop hurting. <laughs> if you take like four, things start to look a little good. And then you fall asleep. I, um, Anybody on the Wish app got the Wish app on their phone? Yes. God, that shit is fucking a problem. Yes. It's like a gift of shit. Um, it is fun. I go to the mailbox and um, the marbles are falling out of the bag uh, as fast as gravity can take them once you reach 40 something. So I forget what I've ordered. And so it's like Christmas in my mailbox every few days, which is nice. But I was wandering through Wish one day and um, I was looking at all these really, really cute weed pipes. They've got all sorts of drug paraphernalia on Wish, which is amazing. And uh, I was looking at these adorable, uh, you know, pipes. And after a minute, I realized that some of them will look a little odd, even though they're very cute. And that's when I realized that I am old enough that I don't visually recognize the difference between weed pipes and crack pipes. <laughs> and that Wish carries crack pipes. <laughs> Which is good to know if you enjoy crack and don't have a pipe handy and have four to six weeks to wait for one. <laughs> if you're waiting for a crack pipe, you probably don't have four to six minutes <laughs> to wait for your crack pipe. So I'm gonna take a sip of my second drink. I'm drinking whiskey tonight. I'm not Irish. I am Scottish, so I'm Celtic. And Again, fuck St. Patrick, so fuck it. I'm gonna drink more. What the fuck you said? Wow. So recently, um, I was on Facebook, and some people were talking about how they, uh, they fucked up. They made a mistake. Y'all have made this mistake. You friended somebody recently, or better yet, you're stalking somebody that you have not friended, and it's becoming conspicuous that you haven't and you accidentally like a photo from three years ago. <laughs> this is how I use my phone. I'm gonna pretend that I brought this phone up here to do this joke instead of my notes. I really memorize everything, I'm good. Like I'll do stuff like this, like with my thumbs under the phone, anyone hide their thumbs? <laughs> so you can like avoid the impulse to go, oh that's a cute cow, oh fuck! <laughs> oh, that was just a cute cat, but I've accidentally liked my ex-boyfriend's four-year-old picture. <laughs> I have decided I don't give a fuck about deep liking shit anymore. Like, come up, like, if I ever deep like your shit, fucking call me on it. Come up, ask me why. Bitch, I wanted to know how the Grand Canyon trip turned out. <laughs> Your kid was sort of an ugly baby. I was seeing how that worked out for him. <laughs> Babies are not inherently cute. I said it. Some of them look like potatoes. I look like a monkey. Look. Looked. I don't anymore. Look like a glitter factory blew up on me. Um, I looked like a monkey. When I was a tiny baby, I was not cute. Babies are not cute inherently. I don't care what anyone says. So um, I'm gonna leave you with this cautionary tale. When you think something's wrong with you, don't Google it. I mean, I know that's like a cliche at this point, but seriously, don't Google it. I was on WebMD the other night, and in case you're wondering, yes, I am suffering from many ailments, I am sure. Uh, they have this feature on WebMD. Um, it's kind of like one of those recipe sites. Uh, you know there's recipe sites where you can like input all of the shit that you have in your cupboards and it will say this is what you can make for dinner tonight based on what you already own. No going to the store for you, lucky you. WebMD has a similar feature where you put in all of your symptoms and it says this is what you're currently dying from. <laughs> there's a lot. So I decided that, oh crap, hold on. 
I had a whiskey burp. Um, there was a, uh, I saw a, um, basically a list of ailments. This is new. You can just kind of browse the menu, if you will, on WebMD. It's like a, it's like an a la carte option. Like, oh, what do you got back there? What do you got going on back there? It's, and it's things like pain, check. Fatigue, fucking check. All sorts of ailments. And then there were things in there that made me realize that M WebMD is very deliberately fucking with us. Um, some things I found on WebMD. Um, abnormally small muscles. <laughs> abnormally round face. <laughs> Got me in my feelings and shit. And then there was a whole list of shit like eye ailments. And their idea of ailments is rather loose. Eyes too big, eyes too small, eyes too far apart, eyes too close together. Bitch, this is not an ailment, this is a trip to Sephora. <laughs> Learn to contour. <laughs> I did. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I don't have any more jokes. That's it. That's all I did. I just say no, thank you so much. Justin Butler, fucking the man. Take this mic away.